Hi everybody, my name is Mauro Scandiuzzo, I'm a field application engineer for ST Microelectronic and I cover the ST MEM sensor. What I'm gonna present to you today is a new six axis IMU, it's called LSM6 DSO. This particular device has the capability to have like 16 independent state machines working in parallel together. I would like to show you how fast is evaluate this device using our Emotion board, in particular, I am using the Emotion board V3, the adapter with the LSM6 DSO, and a cable to connect the Emotion board to your PC. At this point, you are able to, to run the uh, executable file. You run it, you choose the INEMU inertial module, the LSM6 DSO, select the device. This, there is automatically the recognition of COM port. At this point, you want to start the communication with your emotion board. You have several vertical tabs. The first one is information about the graphical user interface that you are using, the version, and the version also of the firmware. The second tab is the easy configuration. I suggest you start with that because you can have a sort of pre-default configuration to make sure that the devices work. I select press easy configuration. Here we have several tab with all the bunch of register. I can read and write the singular, the single register, and I can also read all and write all the register. We have one, two, this is for dedicate embedded feature, three, four, five, and one tab dedicated for the sensor hub capability. The latest one is to save uh, a data logging, and the other one is to save and load the configuration. Here in the vertical tab, you have a different kind of feature. The first of all is, uh, let's say, the bar or plot tab, make you aware that the device is working or not. Actually, it's working because I'm moving the board and I see the effect in Excel and gyroscope data output. But what is the purpose of the, uh, the video today is understand better the Finistain machine embedded on a six axis uh, uh, LSM6 DSO. So we want to press this button, FSM, like finish the machine. If I press it, the first tab, I can select the uh, different state machine that I want. I have uh, up to 16 different state machines that can work uh, in parallel together with a common uh, auto data rate. Let's say I want to start with the same example that ST provides me. I want to import a state machine file so I have a folder here with the example or algorithm. I have several different examples. Let me take the pickup example, then it's quite easy to understand how is build up the uh, finished state machine. We have a very few instruction. At this point, I need to, to write the state machine. I need to, uh, uh, with the second tap, understand uh, which is the, the value of the uh, Excel and gyro, and I can see if the, there is actually a, a motion that has been detected as pickup. So if I pick up my board, I see that it's become green. If I pick up the board, I see that it's become green. So it means then uh, I detect the effect of that. So uh, let's say, assume that I have a standard data logging, I want to see the effect of the standard data logging uh, on the, um, on the, the bugging, uh, debugging mode. At this point, I go back to my previous page and I want to select a, uh, a test. So I test it, I save it, I start the logging, I stop the logging, and when I finish to log in the file, I can load the pattern. At this point, I have several tabs here. I can go one by one, or I can uh, upload all the step, and I can stop, for example, when there is an event that will generate an interrupt. Let's do that. So we'll go step by step, and at a certain point, when I will have a data, then I will generate an interrupt, will be marked in uh, yellow. Now I will see, and this position is stopping 
because I arrived to generate an interrupt. So I mean, I'm able to a uh, standard data logging understand if my uh, state machine and I design work properly or not. Thanks everybody for watching the video and if you need more information please visit our website st.com. Thank you for your attention.